Alrighty guys, welcome back to the GMG truck shop and uh, we have got a bit of stuff to do today. Uh, first off, we're going to end up test driving the El Camino. Hank's going to be back in a minute. He's currently rummaging through some parts to try and get this thing ready to start up. But this thing should be really, really cool and I can't wait to hear what it sounds like either. By the way guys, let me know what you think of the paint job as well. We did a pretty good job all things considered and as I said, that cus the custom chrome pieces from a shop over in the other county really ended up coming out really really nice so alrighty what we got going on today is we have got a truck that we need to uh, take on down to the local auction house and we're gonna be bringing a truck back and that's gonna be the truck that I'm gonna be buying so let's go ahead and get into the brand new shop truck this thing has ended up being a really good purchase and last time we had the snowplow video uh, so we're not really too far removed from that, honestly. It warmed up pretty quick, so we're honestly, as I said, not too far away from that. Kind of warmed up really quick, and uh, amazingly, the snow has melted, and it's still pretty chilly outside. But yeah, it's kind of nice not to be uh, driving through snow. But yeah, we're gonna get a brand new truck today for myself because uh, the other one it's nice and I love the customization that I've done on it but just kind of continuing to drive and stuff I've just kind of slowly seen that eh, it has its interesting quirks about it when driving and I don't overly uh, like like some of them so we're just gonna kind of end up letting it go eventually I think we're gonna kind of set it here at the shop so yeah, okay, we're going to do a bit more customization on it, change it up, see what it looks like, and ultimately we will sell this beauty. Really do miss it. I'm not going to go too far from the Ford camp, honestly. I probably could have honestly gone for a Dodge. I really do like the Dodges. But uh, I think I think I found something that I'm going to enjoy modding out, and it should look pretty good. So anyways, we're taking the Dodge here, so uh, the guy at the auction house has bought it. He thinks he can get quite a bit of money for it here, so we'll see what all he can get for it. It's going to be kind of interesting, but he bought it for about uh, 20000 He thinks he can get this pristine beauty. He bought it for 15000 from us, and he thinks he can get more from it on, on auction, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see how much he can get for this thing. Definitely want to get another one of these at some point, just to kind of have fun with it. But, uh, yeah, it's a very nice looking truck. I really do like how it came out, the two-tone with the wheels and everything. Just 1500 with the uh, V8, but, I mean, it is a beautiful looking truck. I really do like it. So, alrighty, let's head on out, and uh, we will bring you back when we get there. Alrighty guys, about to pull in. Welcome to Sasquatch. That's right, the Sasquatch car auction. Used cars for sale as well. Does quite a bit of different stuff here. We actually ended up uh, sending him the uh, GMC Sierra that we got. And he's actually using that as his daily, which is pretty neat. So, we'll go in and talk to the guy and uh, get this thing taken care of here. Alrighty, he's on a bit of a phone call right now, so he said we can look around. But uh, you can see we've got a nice, like, nice waiting area, kitchen, got computers and stuff around about. So definitely a nice little area to be able to kind of come in. You can take a look at the stuff on the uh, video screen when they're doing the auction live in this room right here. And then obviously beforehand you can come through, come into here. And you can take a look at uh, what's on the docket. So not a whole lot in here right now. It's not a big uh, auction day obviously. But uh, we got the Massey Ferguson tractor over here. This thing looks very nice. So I'm interested to see what that goes for uh, in whenever when the auction comes along. Because that's that's a really nice looking tractor there. But he also has some other beauties over here. He's got a nice Ford F100 thing. It, it could use some work, that's for sure. But, I mean, it is... Very nice so I can take a look at the engine definitely some wear and tear on it and as I said lots of paint lots of new chrome pieces definitely needed on this thing but it looks it looks pretty good so obviously we already did our own F100 belt wouldn't mind doing another one at some point but 
still kind of nice to see that uh, we got a never 3500 HD Chevrolet so that's the work truck trim so that looks pretty nice and then we got uh, the Ram yep 2500 heavy duty 6.4 liter Hemi I mean I kind of honestly would really like one of those as well it's just it's one of those things you know just so many options that you need but I really did like having the option of a snow plow and so uh, this particular one uh, doesn't come with the already available uh, bracket attachments where you can get the bracket on there but this thing over here does so this is another Ford a bit of a newer model so Ford F250 here heavy duty it's got the newer front end nose and stuff and uh, we already got some parts and stuff that I can use to upgrade it check out the interior that is absolutely beautiful in there hop on in take a look here so it's it's a very nice looking interior you can check it out it, it looks really really good in here so I definitely like it brown leather brown accents it's not overkill but it's definitely nice and so as I said there are plenty of modifications we can do to this so obviously we'll do that in another video but uh, this thing's gonna be sweet uh, to be able to work on it's got some wear and tear on it as well so we can go through get that fixed brand new coat of paint on here as well but this thing it's re it's really nice so gonna be grabbing this up uh, we'll talk price here once he gets done on the phone but uh, yeah definitely a nice looking truck Alrighty, so he just gave me the 15000 for the truck here, so let's go ahead and get this backed off and we will put it inside here for him. As I said, he says he can get plenty from this truck, so I'm kind of interested in coming back and seeing how much he actually does get for it. Uh, he wants it over here by the workbench, so, they, so they, they can go through and inspect it so they know for sure on their end that everything is good on it, but... Uh, yeah, it's a sweet little truck. So now I need to talk deal with him about this Ford. So uh, we'll bring you back here in a second. Alrighty, thanks, man. Great deal. Alrighty, so he just let this thing go for thirty-seven fifty. So three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. This that's how much we paid for this thing. It has a lot of wear and tear underneath. It doesn't really show it, but uh, the springs, brakes. And a lot of other stuff are going to need a lot of work, he says, which is fine. That's kind of why I bought it ultimately, because we're going to go through, do all the leaf springs, all of that stuff. Just go through, get that all redone underneath. Going to be a pretty penny on my end, but I think this truck will end up being a nice little workhorse once we get that done. So, engine, let's see what it sounds like. All right, all the screens come on and everything, so all that seems to be working good. Pretty quiet on the inside, step on out. Doesn't sound too bad. Sounds good. So obviously we'll double check the engine and stuff. We'll see if there's anything leaking, anything that we need to replace gasket wise. Obviously do uh, oil change, anything else that it might need. But uh, yeah. And by the way, this thing has some great steering. Oh boy, it feels good. Should we brake right there, turn it back off? Sweet. Get it strapped down there, and let's go ahead and head back on to the shop. And Hank should have the El Camino taken care of by now, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. So, nice piece of property the guy has here, that's for sure. So, definitely a pleasure doing business with him. We'll have to see if we can potentially get some future projects from him in the future definitely seems like that might be a uh, possibility but yeah I'll we'll have to end up coming back and talk to the guy at a later date but I'm very interested to see how much he gets for that RAM that's going to be kind of interesting for sure all right we'll head on back to the shop here and uh, we'll take a look at that El Camino should be fun all right if we got it off we're gonna get ahead and get it into the shop here and uh, we'll just put it off to the side for right now. We've got a few more projects that are going to be coming in. They're going to be a little bit more on the uh, primary goal for us to work on. Go ahead and get the Kodiak and stuff uh, taken care of. But yeah, I can't wait to take a look at that El Camino. I think it's going to be so much fun. Mm -mm. Listen to that engine. 
not overly loud, just right. Sounds good. We're gonna have to do some tuning on it for sure. But man, that thing sounds good. Alrighty, so Hank was taking a test drive in the El Camino. We'll see if he comes back here. Here he comes. You can hear the engine from here. Man, the thing sounds good. Thing is nice. See if he lets us uh, do a test drive in it. Alrighty guys, check out the nice interior in here. This thing is sweet, so we gotta go for a test drive here. And, oh! This thing is talky! Wow! It, it takes a little while, but once it gets going, it gets going. Make sure we don't put out in front of anybody here. Oh, listen to that sound! I don't want to take this on the interstate actually, it's too nice of a classic to do that on. Just open it up right here. It's not overly fast, but boy does it have some great sound. I mean, once it gets up and goes, once it grabs like second to third gear, this thing does a really, really good job in moving out. Steering's a little bit on the wonky side, honestly, a little bit loose, but then it kind of like tightens up suddenly. Get a decoy car right there, left over from the holidays, we'll just loop around. Ooh, yep, rear end kind of slid out from under us a little bit there. So we need to do a little bit of work on this, I think. And I think Hank's going to be working on some suspension stuff as well. But man, this thing sounds and feels good. Nice. I like it. I like it a whole lot. So we'll just bring it back on into the shop here. A little bit rough on the on the uh, turn off there, but not too bad. Boy, this thing's beautiful. Well, that's neat. So that's going to be fun for Hank to be able to have. I'm not sure uh, long term what his long term plans for this thing are, but uh, it's definitely a beautiful vehicle and. Uh, definitely glad that we could put it back to where it should be and that's nice looking nice classic clean look looks really good and I also forgot to uh, show you we did the brake calipers as well same color as the body which looks pretty pretty cool nice so definitely some tuning that can be done a little bit of suspension work potentially but this thing it, it's got some talk to it it's not muscle car worthy it's not drag race worthy for sure but it, it's got some power there that uh, I certainly enjoyed so yeah definitely nice vehicle nice interior and uh, I think we did a good job on it so anyways guys that's gonna be it for today hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and as I said we're gonna be working on my truck my new truck here in the future we'll obviously do that and also uh, some work on the old truck here as well kind of redo that see what we can do with it to uh, get it to sell but uh, yeah we got some other projects coming in that are going to take priority over that so we'll get to those when uh, yeah we'll show them we'll show those projects when we get to them so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed today's video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you guys here next time on the next GMG truck shop video thanks for watching bye bye